There we go, mate. We're back around the world live. How's it going, buddy? I'm real good, thanks. Good morning, Brett. I hope there's uh, only coffee in there. No, 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 no tipple like you had with uh, Ben the other day. I did have a little tickle with Ben. I'm on the I'm on the coffees today, mate. I need it. 8 a.m. Boston. Just got out of bed, ready to pop. What's happening? Uh, not not much. I'm I'm good. It's a it's a good day, mate. That show with Ben the other day was absolutely. Where'd you go, mate? Hang on. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> Having some technical issues early. Yeah, my my mic's not loving life. Um, oh, yeah, that happens. You know, it happens when you go live. Live shows uh, can end up tragic. Let me, uh, I don't deal with this. Uh, I'm on the good mic. We want to be Danny, on the good mic. Danny's in here. He's saying hi. Hey, mate. Where, where are you coming from, Danny? Tell us where you're at. Julian, Julian, where you at? Hey, eh? a lot of people joining us. Um, what were you saying about Tiddly? You you enjoyed that one? I oh, yeah, I loved that 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 whole episode. Uh, I didn't watch it live. I was coaching, so I know you was live. And I don't know. I think it was like the perfect balance between asking questions and getting the mm. audience involved, and letting Ben mm. talk about some of them sort of things, but also mm. just talking about some great stuff, some great coaching stuff, like the family side of things that he was talking yeah. about the life side of things, but also some great coaching tidbits as well. Yeah. I mean, the, I, I don't know Ben personally, but it just made me want to go out to Spain and just, just watch him coach for a bit, you know, because... Yeah, it's funny. Like, I've seen him from afar, coach for many years, and we never really interacted that much. You know, I always felt like he was a little bit standoffish, and I told him that, I think, the first time I talked to him. Mate, we have some of the most incredible conversations, and they're not very, they're not very often, but, like, when we have them... We just we just talk and he's great. I love it. You know, I learned so much from him, but he's honest. I think he's really raw. He's not afraid to kind of tell you how it is, mm -hmm. even if it kind of offends in a way, like, or you're not supposed to say that, or you know, he's just he's just gonna tell you how it is. And I, I really like that about him, you know. It's funny you said about uh, like what? oh sorry. Yeah, results. So hmm? No, I was just going to say, it's funny you uh, you said about him almost appearing standoffish to you because uh, I was coaching a Saturday morning and another local coach come and said hello to me, wanted to chat with me. We ended up going out for a beer afterwards. And uh, he said to me, like, how did you get talking to someone like Brett and James and all these people? And I said, well, I know I just, I just, I just reached out to them and I said, only we only put these people on a pedestal because we look up to them or think they're good. And actually, like, we're not, we're not like, Sir Alex Ferguson or these great football coaches or soccer coaches where mm. like we're actually fairly small, small fry. We, we'll, we'll have time. Like I said, Brett, James always had time for me and probably mm. goes to that same with someone like Ben. And I mean, I've been on deck with Ben at ISL and I even felt that like, Oh, he, he, you know, he's a bit of a big deal. I don't know if I want to go bother him. And mm. now watching the shows, I'm like, God, I wish I'd gotten asked to get a coffee mm. with him. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so, he would have loved it. He he would have loved it. Um, yeah, good guy, real good guy. I I think there's a lot of that. You know, I think I think some people can feel standoffish, but when you kind of approach them and break them down, and uh, I think they're I think they're great. You know, just approach them in in normal sense of like, hey, mate, I love what you do. I'd love to have a chat sometime. Nothing wrong with that. You know, but the good thing about this show is, mate, we're all over the world. We've got Danny's in. Australia is in New South Wales right now. Danny, go to bed, mate. It's got to be midnight at least. I mean, come on, Danny. Switzerland, what's happening over in Zurich? You know, we're there. Uh, we've got people in the comments section that miss Elvis. I mean, come on. Elvis was like years ago. We'll, we'll bring him back. We'll, he was fun, though, wasn't he? <laughs> they were good times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 3 a.m. Watch, we were watching Tokyo with me, you, and Elvis, and some other great guests. Oh, mate, that was so good. I love that stuff. God, I love that stuff. Oh, it's only 10 o'clock. Okay. Well, well. We've got another person in Sydney as well. So we've got multiple Australian. Well, we've already been asked about the Australian. I know he was going to talk about it earlier, but mm -hmm. right, right now, Brett, you're, you're, mm. you're the Aussie. So it's Australian nationals. Is this trials or is this just nationals? This is just nationals, mate. This does not mean anything other than hey i swam fast which is yeah. great because we saw some fast swimming today tell me what yeah. tell me what happened day one well so Br bronson's just brought up uh sam short 342 mm -hmm. and uh 
I, I don't know if you guys watched the movie. Oh, God, I forgot what it's called now, but he is the swimmer in this movie, right? Mm. Um, so, like, it's a movie about a swimming coach. I forgot what it's called. Um, well worth a watch. It's always fun when they make swimming movies. Yeah. Um, but he's but in it. He is the swimming, like, dub, stunt double, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, he's not like an actor then. He's just, you can just tell like it's him. No, but, like, whenever there's a swimming scene, there's a really damn good swimmer, and it's <laughs> Sam Short. Um and well, he's just gone 342. Um, mm. Before we went live, you said, who's his coach? Now, he swims at... Oh, God, where does he swim? Does anyone know where Sam Short swims? Yeah, come on. There's some guys in the comments section. Who? Where does sw Sam Short swim? Molly O'Callaghan just dropped a bomb. 52-6. Nice. Splitting 25-8. Oh, she's going out a little faster these days. Seems that way. I'm pretty sure she only just beat Shayna Jack by like 1-100, 52-6-3 yeah. to 52-6-4. Because that was my first thought is like, is Emma mm. McKeon out of Worlds in the individual? But this uh, is national. So her yeah. coming from, again third. Um, you know, I've got a feeling the trials podium is going to look different. I think Kate Campbell's going to be quicker. I think Emma's going to be quicker. But then, there we go. They're saying Kyle Samuelson in Rackley. I don't, I, mean, even know where, I don't even know where Rackley is myself. Okay, I was going to say, I don't know where Rackley is. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but it's in Brisbane, apparently. Well, everyone's uh, everyone's telling us about, yeah, Rackley and, and Carl Samuelson. Well, it's clearly mm. working, whatever's going on there. He's, his technique is beautiful. I think he's a young is lad it? still. And, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's he's got an immaculate freestyle. Um, yeah, and got, I mean, I think it's like the 10th fastest swim in history. Is that what they were saying? Like maybe, maybe maybe the tenth fastest person in history. I don't know about the swim. Yeah, but... definitely not performance. I mean, I reckon no, I reckon no. Ian had about ten swims faster than that yeah. himself. But, yeah, uh, yeah, but like three forty two is getting down there. It's moving. Yeah, and 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 yeah, that's the problem. Is like, did he drop that too early? Like, what what was what was it? It wasn't necessary to go that fast this early. Like, yeah. he's not he's not getting picked on a team right now. Now, I don't know why they're doing nationals and then. A month later doing trials i have no idea but it look it's good racing i mean great racing good for him if he can back it up but he's got to go that again at trials he can't go slower at trials um yeah. you know these women are going to go faster you know like they're, they're these are in-season swims for these ladies i mean that's how scary that is like six girls and like you said emma mckeon you know out of the top what well, out of the top four was she but she was like right there but it's like Six girls under 54. It's, I mean, come on. The Australians are so far ahead in this event. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I, mean, I definitely think we can use this as a segue to talk about Dan Whiffin. So we can go back to the Aussies as well. But uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. someone's here has talked about Dan. But actually, Sam Short was the Commonwealth champion in the 1500 last year with 1448. And oh, okay. Dan Whiffin comes second at the Commonwealth Games in a PB at the time oh. of 1451. Oh. And Dan Whiffin has just done a 17 second PB to go 1434.9, four fastest performance of all time, um, Irish record. And he's Irish. He's Irish. And without doubt, the best swim this weekend. And maybe even, uh, uh, dare I say it, the best swim of 2023 in the long course meters right now. I, I think you could say was was that swim by Dan Whiffin. Well, listen, dare I say it? Dare I say this? You know, I've talked about some guys coming onto the map recently, uh, these young guys kind of popping on and making a name for themselves. I don't think I've heard anyone's name more than I've heard Dan Whiffin in the last few months. I mean, this guy has really made a name for himself in, in all facets. He's got a YouTube channel. He's swimming fast. He's, I mean, he's just, he's kind of everywhere. Sonny, when are we getting this kid on the show? We need this guy on the show. So I wanted to get him on actually this show today, but he's flying back to Loughborough. That's where he trained with Andy mm. Manley at the Loughborough Uni squad. Mm. Um, he's flying back from Stockholm today, but I think next Monday we're going to get him and his twin brother on the show. Oh, um, yeah. And it's, 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 his twin is really good as well. His twin, Nathan Whiffin, he's still like short course, a sub 15 minute, 1500 freestyler. And I think mm. people just like let it overshadow because of how amazing Dan is. But Nathan's still the real deal. They run mm. a YouTube channel together. I've put a link in the comments so you can go and oh, click on that. Right. Honestly, I think it's a tragedy that these guys only have 1,200 subscribers. They post regular content of elite swimming. They are elite swimmers. 
and that they no, put work into no, their content as well. So no, give them no, a nice no. life. I'm giving another one. I'm going to give them a follow right now. I'm giving a follow right now. The Whiffin Twins, get on it, everybody. Get over there and give them a follow. Yeah, Whiffin so, Twins. Uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're both the real deal, and they're both young. Someone just said, how old are they? Um, 21. 21. Um, yeah, someone said the best male swimming long course. I forgot the summer Macintosh is meat, so don't don't flame me in the comments. <laughs> summer Macintosh has done the best long course swimming of the year. Sorry, I've got that like goldfish way. memory. Got that goldfish memory, but yes, best male male swimming long course meters this year is indeed uh Dan Whiffin. And I just wanted to take the segue from Sam Short to go on to talk about Dan, but uh, yeah, massive, massive swimming back, back to Australia. Um, mm. The guy that won the 50 fly beating Cole Chalmers, what a name he has, Ben Armbuster. Do we know Ben? Oh, the Armbuster. What time did he pop? 23-0. 23-0 from the Armbuster? Yeah. Like, who, who is this kid? I, I don't yeah. know, but he just beat Cole by 0. 0.3 of a second. Cole was 23-3, McAvoy third, 23-6. Your boy Cody down in 10th, 24-5. But the Armbuster, 23-0. Oh, the armbuster. Wow. I mean, I feel like he should be on a, like a, a slap competition or something, you know? <laughs> How good would he be in that? All, all, all I see is the guy just with the biggest biceps just churning out 50 flies. Um, what, uh, what did Cam McAvoy swim already? So he come he got third 23 six in the 50 fly. Oh, We're obviously gonna wait for the sprint freestyles and see how he McAvoy, does there. But... Yeah, oh mate, I'd love McAvoy. I've got to get him on the show. We've been, we've been talking back and forward. He's he's definitely coming on. He just wanted to do something first, and maybe uh maybe after this he, he might join us yeah. before trials. I don't know, that'd be fun. Oh, his name's Arm Brewster. Is that what it is? Yeah, I've made a mistake. I've made my second mistake of the morning, but <laughs> <laughs> but but it's okay. I uh... hey, his name's his name's Arm Buster now. All right, that's all. <laughs> leave it at leave it at that. <laughs> oh, classic though, classic. Mate, there's so much swimming going on. Nate Nate has finally. Um, this is what I'm scrolling here on my um on my phone. Nate's I finally got Nate's is. um. You know what do we call this thing? It's the. Uh, Swim spam, yeah, swimspam.com. If you haven't um, got on it, Nate will send this to you in the newsletter. But basically, has everything all, all the swims around the world are on this thing. I'm scrolling through this as we go because I can't watch all this swimming all day. But I mean, what a lot of swimming going on. Where are we going to start? Other than when we started in Australia, we went to uh, we went to the British trials. What was going on this weekend though? There, there was a lot. And this is when Swim Spam comes in because we yeah. had Pro Swim Series in America, South African trials, Australian okay. nationals have started. We've got Italian okay. trials. Okay. We've got a meet in Russia happening. Okay. Um, All right. Let's I'm go not, to the uh, Pro Swim Series. Sweden. Yeah. Sweden, yeah. Sweden, yeah. Let's go to Westmont first. Uh, a lot of stuff in Westmont. A lot of stuff in Westmont. What, what, were, the, what were the standouts in Westmont? Uh, well, Lydia, Lydia Jacoby. I'm a big fan mm. of Lydia. Um mm. Really unique technique, almost that old school mm. style flat breaststroke, uh, very little undulation. She went her fastest 100 breaststroke since the Olympics, where she's obviously the champion. She went a 106.0. She also beat Lily King in the 50 breaststroke. So I thought that was pretty awesome stuff on the women's side. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I love about her too is she embraces her personality. And I love that. Like she's got a personality. She She's, she's one of those girls that isn't afraid to be herself i really like that like she's just unique she's she's competitive um but she's she she's something else other than a swimmer i imagine like that's the feeling i get from her is like yes i'm a great swimmer but i'm more than that you know and i love that about her you know yeah no i i couldn't agree more um yeah big fan and also someone who's a good personality as well shane cassas um, his yeah, post-race yeah. interviews are a breath, breath of fresh air. Mm. Um, and he's also a great swimmer. He won the 50 and 100 butterfly. He told us that he wasn't happy with any of the times. Um, and he wanted to be faster. He also took out the 200 IM in 53.50. So he was 200 off the world record split at 100. And then uh, he paid for it a little bit on the freestyle. But it's okay when you, you fade a little bit at the end when it's April and you're not shaved and it's a pro swim series. Actually, he did look shaved in a post race interview. He did look shaved, but uh, you know, he can go, he can go. That kid, man, he's so talented. We've talked about him, he can go. Yeah. I hope he just, I hope he cleans up at the trials and whatever he does, but he's so good. 
Uh, Hunter Armstrong swimming fast in season, as he said, like we had him on the live show, I think for NCAAs and I kind of, I kind of overlooked his hundred free. I said, you know, when are you going to go 48? He's like, I've been 48 and hundred free. He went 48 on the weekend again, it looks yep. like. So he's, uh, he's, he's fast. That kid's good. 52, five in the hundred Ryan yep. Murphy, third man ever to go under 52 in the hundred fly and hundred back. I mean, obviously he's hundred back. He's done that previously, but he went 51-9 in the 100 fly on the weekend. That's a good swim. He won the B final. He looked really strong. Um, mm. Yeah, and mm. he joins the elite crew of Aaron Pearsall. And who's the other Who's the other double 51 guy? I don't know. I mean... Uh, Nate, comment. Nate knows. Who's the other 51? Who's been 51 in the... Is it... Is it um, Shane. Shane. No, not Shane. No, Shane. No, is, it, is, is it the um, Ciccone? Thomas Chacon, there it is. Yep, you're right. Yeah, it's the Italian. Yeah. It's the Italian. Yeah, it's gotta be the Italian. I mean, there's not many guys that have gone 51 in the hundred back. You know what I mean? No, no. There's, it's got to be him, right? Like, there's like five, if that. Um, yeah, talk, it's got to be talk, him. Talking to Nate, he mentioned the Hungarian Hubert Koss, another ASU swimmer, one of Bob Summers, great mm. medley swimmer, but also 155 on the two back, um, which is the fastest time of the year. But I just feel like men's two back is so off the pace right now. That's world record plus four. Right, like that's not that impressive, is it? I don't know. Maybe I'm being harsh. Mm. My opinions are pretty bad this morning. So you got good opinions though, because you're you you know you're knocking out PVs, mate. So you can have an opinion on whatever you want, mate. You got the performance of the month. What'd you do? What time did you go? I went. A, I went a one minute ten hundred breaststroke. That's not that good, but it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> listen mate it's it's great a 110 is great listen it's great okay? <laughs> way better than anything i could do so i'm not going to criticize the 110 under breast uh good stuff mate well you're in there you're competing how's it, is it how's how is it to get up behind the blocks and compete uh i i i i love it i was actually at a meet i'm doing a bit more age group coaching now and the meets are really long and i had a six hour day where i had one lad swim in 250s Hmm. and they said i could deck enter um so i said you know what i'm deck entering and oh, the only so event this was like a cold enter, you didn't even warm up no 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 no. Like, the only event i could deck enter was the 100 breast or 200 back and i made the uh the wise decision oh god yeah the four length was better than the eight length um and i wanted to make a cool video as well like i've really tried to up my production so i'm going to put a link to my video and do some shameless promoting but uh actually cool i'll, I'll be honest with you i didn't even know you swam breaststroke I don't no, see put, put, put it back up. Put it back up. There we go. Look, everybody, uh, get on this video. Is it is it a is it a fun one? It's a fun one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm. I I I've not been swimming to be completely honest. Like it was just a it was literally a spontaneous, wow, well, I've got six hours to kill. Um between two fifties, my lads racing, so I'm gonna deck enter a, a breaststroke race and you know, see if I can go a PB. How fun. many subscribers you got on YouTube now? Uh, I'm I'm a hundred off of sixty four thousand, so sixty three thousand nine hundred. Let's let's get Sunny to a hundred thousand. Don't you get a little plaque at a hundred grand? No, I do. I want it. I want it bad, Brett. <sighs> Come on, let's bad. get let's get Sunny a plaque. Like let's get his videos viral. Just one of these videos. Sunny, make a, a viral video for us so we can put something out there. I need to. I need to. Get, I just have a... watch Mr. Beast and just just get him to help you and get a viral video. <laughs> Whatever he's doing, get on the Mr. Beast. <laughs> He, he's a freak. Um, yeah. What about this? The vlog quality is insane. Cheers, Hubes. Um, I'm really working on it lately. I've got mics. I've got a new camera. Really oh, trying. Really? To, oh, you're up really in your game. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Mm. It's getting there. Um, Good for you, mate. Good for you. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Let's go. All right. Let's get out of. Let's get out of the pro series. Oh, Sweden. one last. One last quick. Um, Damn this microphone! Every time I scream into this microphone, it cuts off. Now, why is that? Can anyone tell me how to fix that? It does it all the time. Um, my prediction is no. Is he going to swim at the Olympic trials? A hundred percent. Dressel will be at the Olympics in Paris. No doubt in my mind. Will he be swimming this year at the World Championships? I'm going to put it down to an. Uh, 80% chance no, mm -hmm. which means he's got a 20% chance of yes. So uh, in all likelihood, I'm going to say Dressel's not swimming trials this year. 100% he's swimming trials next year, no doubt in my mind. That's where I'm at with that. That's my feeling. I don't have any inside info on that one. 
Um, oh yeah, you're gonna you gotta give away a hundred grand, uh, a million yeah, bucks. Yeah. Give give away a million bucks. Yeah. Well, you gotta have a million to give one away. So let's let's work on that first. <laughs> Why doesn't Dressel want to communicate with his fans? I mean, I think he's told you that. He wants some space. I think that's the thing. He just wants to be him. He just wants to be a, a dude who just lives and enjoys swimming. And I think it was overwhelming for him. So that's fine. That's okay. I mean, you and I can talk about it. We, we can talk about him. We don't have to put any pressure on him while we're talking about him. But, let, you know, he's a swimmer. We can talk swimming. Just let him be. He'll be back. Don't worry about it. He'll be back. All right. What else do we have here? Well, let's go back to – let's go to Sweden. What happened in Sweden? So Sweden was obviously Dan Whitham. That was the big, big one out of Sweden. Um, Dan Whitham winning that. That mm. 4, 8, 15, 3, 44, 14, 34, and 7, 44. He mm. likes the fours. I mean, you can almost guarantee he's going to go something four. Um mm. Mm. But Sarah's back racing. Um, I'm a big fan of Sarah. She won the 50 fly, 53, 100 free, 23, 9, 52, 9, 25, 0. Like, you know, she's good. She's real good. Um, Sostrom's back. Where, who is Sostrom training with now? <clears throat> Do you know? She's. I think she's just at the, uh, like, the performance center they have in Sweden. Right. I guess it's in Stockholm. She's got a, a, a younger coach. Um, she really likes her coach. She really likes the team. She has fun. Like, She's she's kind of got that more sort of Ben Proud, Florin Manadou sort of way about her, where you know they have fun with swimming, they take breaks when they need to, and they mm -hmm. just sort of fast when they get in the pool. You know, mm -hmm. like she's not yeah. doing ridiculous volume, and you know she she wants to have a long career. She's how old is Sarah now? She's thirty something. Um, she's got to be in her thirties. She has to be. I mean, she's yeah. swimming. She's swimming. Um, Paris. I mean, she's swimming London. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did she swim? Sure. Did she swim in um, Beijing? I'm not sure if she was Beijing, but she swam in. She set the she first world record, 56.06 in in 09 in a bodysuit at, at 16, which makes her there. We go, she's 29. 29? No way, really? She's not even 30 yet. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, she's God, had she's been good career. for so long. She must have been great at 15. Yeah, she swam in Beijing. Like she oh, there swam, we go. she swam in Beijing, and now we're in 2023. Think about that. And she's 29 <laughs> still. I would have thought she'd be 45 by now. That's amazing. How what did she, was she seven when she swam in Beijing? <laughs> That's crazy. I think the, I think the maths is kind the of math, off there. Maths not off. I need more coffee. No, it's Australian math right there. Don't take my word on that one. <laughs> but uh, I've I've had chats with her. She wants to keep going until she's like late 30s. Like she she <clears throat> she wants to go to every Olympics ever. Does she, she really? To, she wants to keep winning. I mean, I think the hundred free will at one point probably get sacrificed but the 53 like why can't she she goes 23 every time she steps up on them blocks like uh yeah yeah well yeah i mean look the less than the time that she's swimming there's two things the two factors here she's making a lot of money everywhere mm -hmm. she goes she races and wins a lot of money and she's probably got decent sponsors mm -hmm. and then she's happy you know it's like do like if you're turning up to work every day and you're happy and you're making a lot of money and you love what you do, that's work, right? Like that's work. That's what all of us try and strive for, right? So why change that just because of some age, you know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. keep going, go, go to your 40 and make all that money if you want. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. All right. Anything else in uh, anything else in Sweden happened that was r ridiculous? I mean, I mean, couple of couple of good swims there. We had a we had a kid go twenty one in the fifty. Yeah, Ladislav Bukov. Yeah, um, he's that like he's where's he's he from? He's Ukrainian. He's got he's the guy that just pops up like zero meters, no underwater, and he oh. just rates on the surface like uh, mm. kind of similar to Lewis Burris, I think. Um, oh, okay. I think he was an ex water polo player, and he started swimming a few years back. Mm. Um, I think it was a famous swim. Like he almost beat Florent Manadou at like a January meet a few years back and uh, just skimmed across the water. Um, mm. um, okay. <clears throat> Interesting. <clears throat> You're only going to get so far with that. So you, you'll stay at 21.7, 21.8, 21.9. You're not going to get any any faster that really you know you're not, you're not we'll put it this way you're not going 21.2, 21.3 with that. Yeah. So like if you're happy staying there. Okay, he went twenty one seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he he'll he'll stay there. You know, you're not going twenty one two, twenty one three, 
without any underwaters. It's just yeah. you're not doing it, you know. So, you know, take that for what it is. Keep going your 21 sevens if that's what makes you happy. Um, what else was I going to say here? So let's go to South Africa. South Africa. Yes. Yeah, well, South Africa. I'll start off by just saying, you know, Chad won his 13th 200 butterfly uh, in a row. He's won from 2010 to 2023. That's pretty just a crazy stat um, mm. in a country that has some great swimmers and, you know, just to win that many races back to back. And uh, on his birthday, uh, too, right? On his birthday, yeah. He's turned Good 31 now. So, yeah, he's older than Sarah. Um, and he was in 09. I'm pretty sure he went to Worlds in 09. As well. No, he didn't. He must have gone 2010 college with his first breakout. Sorry, my bad. I don't know, maybe mm. he did go a nine. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know anything. Maybe he did. Morning. Maybe he did. I don't know. Um, yeah. But he's but, fast uh, yeah. when, he's, when he's winning a lot. 13, 13 national championships in a row. Yeah. Can this yeah. man be stopped? Who's going to stop this guy? Yeah. it's going to. I mean, South Africa's full of talent and, and hard workers. And, you know, I wanted to just talk about Chad quickly, but Peter Kotsia, you know, he, it was his meet, right? It was his meet. He was... Uh, just phenomenal. 24-3. He missed uh, the 50 backstroke national record by 0 0.02. Pretty sure that was uh was the guy that quit. He went to America. I think he went to Alabama. He won world Who? champs. Who? Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, man, geez, now you put me on the spot, but uh, yeah. guys, on the tip of my tongue. But yeah, Peter, Peter's going to uh, Cal, isn't he? Isn't he? He's going to he, Cal. Yeah, he's going to Cal. Yeah. Um, wow. He went 52, uh, new new record in the new South African record in the 100 back, 52 7. Actually, went if I'm looking at these times, 24 3 and 52 7. Let's go back up to here real quick. 24 3, 52 7. Hunter Armstrong, 24 3, 52 5. Future training partner almost swam identical times as him on the weekend there. Hunter Armstrong, yep. Peter Coetzee. Yeah. He there was 49-0 in the 100 free as well. 49-0 in the 100 free. Wow. Um, and he was a 156-6 on the two back. That wasn't a PB. That was his only not PB. It was the last day of the meet. But what a what a cow backstroke is just a it's just a thing, right? It's just a force to be reckoned with. And if you're a backstroker, why would you not want to be training with them other boys? Zane Waddell, that's who I was thinking of. Zane Waddell, but um the, they're saying Zanberg. Yeah. yeah. Zanberg I, I, he, didn't, he didn't go to Alabama. Waddell went to Alabama. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought it was Waddell. I, I love the comments. They're way smarter than oh, us. Right? It's God, brilliant. The comments like, are amazing. You guys in the comments section, thank God for you. I mean, yeah. we are completely useless without you guys. So um, oh, they're they're actually saying he's gonna go to Cal after the Olympics. Really? What? No. He's going to wait another year and a half to go to Cal. I'm going to oh. message Peter quickly now and see if he see if he's free. I, I, I love Peter. Peter who? Kotsia. You know him? Of course I know him. I'm South African. Let's see if he's free. He might, he's just going to jump on the show. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a he's a great kid. Honestly, he's a great kid. He's just really, awesome. and it, it doesn't surprise me. Rocco is all about the big picture. Rocco like. Only cares about the oh, Olympics. Rocco that's why, coaches him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Rocco Myron, um, up uh, in uh in Tux, and that's why, mm. like, that's why I think it would just it would not go with Rocco and Peter's plan to. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if he's with him. if if he's with Rocco, it makes complete sense. Okay, I got it. it makes um, complete sense. Like I say, like to Peter before I meet him, like, are you are you going to be fast? And he's like, I mean, I'm only ever going to be a hundred percent at the Olympics, so I can be ninety five percent here, and he like still go stupidly fast. Um. Did Matt Sates not rest? So he's now training with Rocco. Yeah, um, I mean, he always was, wasn't he? No, he was with Wayne. Um, oh, he was with Wayne. Oh, yeah. he left. He left Wayne to went, go with Rocco. Yeah. Oh, what? I didn't know that. That's some but, kind but, of big news. Yeah, I mean, he's done bits with, with Rocco in the past, but he's always been like with Wayne, but I think for the first time he's actually fully transitioned across now. But and he didn't swim well at all. I mean, he, he didn't swim fast for him. Like he, he looks like he's just trying to qualify, basically. But but that's my that's like going back to what Rocco's big picture is: is that what Matt, other than winning world short course, which Matt done a brilliant job with one fifty point two hundred IM. What Matt does really well is he swims fast at Mare Nostrum, World Cups, South African Nationals, and then he doesn't make it out the heats at the Olympics, the World Champs, the Commonwealth Games. And I think that if, if I was, you know, seeing what Rocco's seeing and knowing what Rocco's like, he's saying to Matt, right, now it's our yeah. time to win medals at World Champs. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I don't care if you go PB plus five at Nationals. Right. Get on the team, which he's right. done. Right. And then 
we you know we're not like yeah that's, that's yeah yeah i'm not going to say he had a bad meet he might have had a great yeah. meet he may he may have been completely unrested and unshaved and just swam these times which are legit times uh, off his best but like yeah. still legit for in season and 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 that's all he needed to do he didn't need to go and set the world on fire at south african nationals he right. just needed to get on the team now uh <clears throat> that's my pick anyway so yeah hey shout out to my boy roland schumann roland hey roland we love you mate 53 22 8 masters record fastest ever 40 to 44 year old in history okay congrats on that one and then he goes out and he wins the 50 fly 23 8 i mean under 24 seconds there at 42 years old what a legend hey what a legend good for you roland showing the world what's possible proud of you mate you've had a hard couple of years with everything that you've gone through and you've come back and you've shown everybody what you're made of mate and i knew it for i've known it for 20 years what you're made of so love you buddy congratulations there i said my bit on roland yeah and by all accounts he should be on the world championship team because he hit a fina beaker and he won the 50 fly so south african team picking's weird but if he wants mm, yeah. to be, I, I feel like I feel like he's done his bit to deserve being on that team. If you like, you know, that'd be my take. What did he come in the fifty-three? Second in the fifty-three, but he got a B cut, so he can't swim that individually unless Peter gives that spot up. Um, Peter won it. Peter won it twenty-two-one, um, okay. and then uh, yeah, so it's just to the fifty fly. But I mean, they they take Michael Hooley for just the fifty breaststroke. So by all accounts, I mean he does mm. the relay hundred breast, but yeah. I, I think they could take him. They could take him. But South African swimming is weird. All right. Let's go to the Italian nationals. Man, there's so much swimming in this uh, in this thing today. Oh, wow. Swimspam.com, by the way. Um, yeah. Okay. What else we got here? We got the – did you did you see any of the Italian results? I've seen the results. I've not watched any of the meet. Um, my, my pick would be Federico Poggio um, beating Nicolo Martinegi in the 100 breaststroke. 58-7 and 0.2 PB from Federico. Oh, wow. um, and I don't know. I, I, I like it when you see someone who's maybe the underdog in a country get a bit of highlight. And everyone knows who Nicolo Martinegi is. He's a brilliant swimmer. Um, and Federico's taking it to him. They're both obviously qualified for the team. They've got the job done. But 58-7 is no slouch. Might be even second in the world right now, um, behind Ilya. So uh, this um, this isn't like a one-off trials for them. Do they get a couple of chances? I feel like they're one of them countries where you have like yeah. multiple meets to get the cuts and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Um, yeah, I think ben, so ben, too. Benedita Pilato wasn't there. She's defending world champion 100 breaststroke. So I, I mean, I don't. I'm not spoke to Benny recently. I don't know if she's. Uh, not swimming or she's taking a break or she just didn't do this meet and she'll qualify. I don't know. It's something else coming up, but, uh, be weird. Paltrinary, man. What about Paltrinary? 7.46. Yeah. A couple of seconds off what Dan went. Still a very serious time. Um, yeah, you know what I was thinking when I saw that pop up, I'm like, imagine how many yards that man has swum in his lifetime. I mean, he's just like clockwork popping out. 800s, 1500s, 5Ks, 10Ks. 10Ks. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine, yeah. imagine the yards this man has put in, and he's just 746. Boom, pops one out. I mean, God, I can't, I can't fathom how how much work this man has put in, and uh, all all credit to him. And and he's a great, great person, great person. Love him to death. I I honestly love the guys who watch this show because I, I'm like I I think I'm follow all the swimming results and these people are one up in me like Pilato 29 8 this morning she uh is picked automatically because she won 100 breast last year so she didn't have to do it at this meet look at this like i don't know like who I, is I, who I, is b2o ba and what the hell does that mean anyway but he is so smart i'm saying he might be a she yeah. i don't know who it is but it's like you're always in the comments section and you're always on point who is this person give me come on give us a real name or I don't know. Come on, give me something. Where are you from? Well, you're, Smart, we, dude. You're appreciated by us for sure. Um, just yeah. quickly, Dan Whiffin was at the Stockholm meet in Sweden. Yeah. Uh, do you know much about Italian swimming program? I know they're like high volume, big taper. Um, 
Uh, so, well, yeah, I mean, that's a that's a broad brush, Italian yeah. swimming program. I mean, you, you're talking about a whole country, you know, so it's like there, there are different types of coaches for sure. But, yeah. um, you know, yeah, I, I think by and large, most of the Italians stay in Italy. That's the, they're very much like, they're very much like uh, the Japanese, you know, they're very loyal to their home country and they stay there. What is this? Booba, which is my favorite French rapper. <clears throat> there we go. Stands for Booba. Are, are you French? I guess he's French. Are, are, he's you, French. are you, a, you a swimmer or a coach? You're a coach or both? Are Give us both? an age range. Are you like 20 yeah. to 25? Are you 30 to 35? What, how, give us an age range, Booba. This is a uh, Brett and Sonny's new detective series where we try and work <laughs> out <laughs> who's, <laughs> who's in the comment section. Yeah. All right, let's get out of it. Let's get out of Italy. More fast swims from around the world. What else was going on? Let's go into that. Uh, Can you say something about Katie Grimes? Yes, yes. So there's another meet in America. Obviously, people main focus on the Tier Pro series, but there was also the Fran Crippen meet of champions. Um, 24, and, by the way, Booba. Well, thanks, you, mate. You, your, your, your swimming knowledge is great. Good on you. Um, Country of origin. Give us that. I love how we've got people guessing the age of other commenters. <laughs> I guess I guess 26. So close. So close. Um, yeah, sorry. I, I, was, I, I disrupted you on uh, Katie Grimes there. Cool Dumpies. Cool Dumpies, again, I don't really like the name, but uh, also it seems to be pretty spot on with the knowledge. Um, 431.8. I think it's the 15th fastest 4am of all time by Katie. She's still young, isn't she? She's she's a little older than Summer, but I bet she's 17 or 18. Um I don't She's going to Florida that. too, I think. I think she can okay. I, I think she committed to Florida. Don't hold me to that, but I don't know. I thought she was going to follow Bella Sims to Florida. Bella Sims is going to Florida. I know that for sure. Yeah. Well, them sandpaper guys are crazy. Actually, it was the other day I realized that Ilya Karun, the guy that went 154, 200 fly, 5100 fly, he's swimming the Canadian trials for open water. <laughs> like is he, is he really <laughs> them sandpipers of Nevada. They are machines. so multi-talented, but it's like you're on the world team for 100 fly earlier. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a 10k under my belt as well. Like that's wow. absurd. Wow. Absurd. absurd, absurd, yeah. I mean, machines. But Katie Grimes is really good too. She's really good. She's she's understated in a way because there's there's a couple of superstars around mm -hmm. her. They get mm -hmm. maybe slightly more attention, but keep an eye on her. 17 years old, she could do some damage in Paris. I'll tell you what. Yeah. So young still, so young. Um, I don't think she's committed uh, yet. Okay, yeah. I, I, I was thinking that too. I mean, when I had talked to her and her family, there was some talk of Florida, but I don't want to spit that out there. But, uh, uh, you know, anyway, she's, she's got time, and we'll, we'll figure it out once she makes it. She, she, yeah, I, she's not going to not go to college, but, um, man, she's in a good spot right now. So keep, keep doing what you're doing. If anyone's going to stay in a program till Paris – Katie Grimes, stay at Sandpipers till Paris, I'll tell you that. You know, uh, you're in the right spot, girl. Um, yeah. Yeah, we, we should probably have her on the program too. We should get her on. I, I've, I've had a good chat with her and her mom. Her mom's fabulous. I, I just met her mom once and she was just so mm -hmm. nice. Says she listens to the show. So um, Bella Sims is another great 17-year-old. She is. She's phenomenal. I mean, they've got a, they got a stable of them. And, in and, uh, in Vegas, you know. How old is Claire Weinstein? Because she's the other Sandpiper girl that probably gets even less than Bella and uh, Katie does in terms of attention. But she's great. She went 1609, 1500, 406, 400, 825, 800 on the weekend. Like, 825's legit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's real legit. Is she, is she 17 or is she 18, Claire Weinstein? Do we know? I don't know. and I don't, I don't know. Uh, sorry, my bad. She's 16. Um, <laughs> who? Who are we talking about? Claire Weinstein. Are you 16. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've Googled it, and Booba is oh, okay. actually more trustworthy than Wikipedia. Booba, so. yeah, Booba, Booba's on it. Um, so, what's what's she saying here? So do you have any breaststroke tips? I'm currently 312 in the 200. That's slow. That's real slow. Uh, 129 in the 100, 15. Oh, okay, all right more context that's good all right uh any tips to get faster i would say look if you're if you're oh. trying to drop a lot of time i would work on your line your streamlining like your streamline into your stroke so in breaststroke it's about minimizing resistance 
And if you're at 312, you're probably creating a little bit of resistance here. So I would say work on your line, carry your speed. That's the best tip I can give. Sonny, you got anything for him? Yeah, I, I think the position where you glide with your eyes down, your hands out in front, I call it a V-line where you're like not streamlined because mm. you're not stacking your hands, but your hands mm. are side by side. You can interlock mm -hmm. your thumbs mm -hmm. and just get really good at that. Work on the kick as well. You know, 200 yeah. breast is a, is a, is a kick-dominated event. Um, it's not like Adam Petey where it's more arm-dominated when it's within the 50 and 100. So, uh, mm. yeah, body line, glide. Justoni, thanks, mate. Where where you come from, Justoni? I don't think I've ever seen you in the comments section, yeah. but um, been watching us for three years. Really good stuff, young coach. Well, we appreciate it, mate. You know, we're we're trying. We have a lot of fun. I'm glad I met Sonny. Sonny's Sonny's one of the best out there. You know, I, I uh, immediately knew I wanted to talk to this guy, meet this guy, and then we just said, let's let's do a show together. You know, like it's just. Sonny's the best. Love Sonny and uh, love what we're doing. It's fun. We're having fun, right, Sonny? Yeah, we, we love it. I mean, we, we talk about swimming and we have guys way smarter than us come and help us talk about swimming. So uh, it's, uh, yeah. it's good stuff. It's good yeah. stuff. Um, what else was in here? So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm looking through here. Sergio Lopez had a Mexican kid yep. who went something in the 100 free. He went 48-7 in the 100 free. Yep. Miguel... Miguel went 209 in the 200 breast. That's great. Was there a was there a, some sort of Mexican trials on? That, that was a tier pro series. So Jorge oh. Iga um, actually okay. trained, um, actually done the 48-7 in the morning. Oh, um, okay. Hunter won the final in, I think, 48-7. But in the B final was the Tennessee lad who trained with Crooks, uh, Gui Santos. Um, oh, the, the Brazilian? Brazilian. He went 48-5 in the B final, dropped the second from the heat to the final. That was a pretty serious swim. He flipped in like 22-7 or 22-6, like serious front end. Um, he's he's definitely better better in long course than he is in the yards. And that's that's exciting. That's exciting. Um, Brett is in a good mood today. You know what happened? So I had my girls this week. So I had my twins for, for spring break. So I had them for a whole week. Friday, I just decided to just take off work. I'm like, I'm not... I'm not doing any work. And I, and I said, I'm not doing any work over the weekends. And I just took the weekend. So I took a long weekend. So I am actually in a good mood today. I feel, I feel refreshed. You know what happens, I think, for all of us is like we get into work mode and we get into the grind and it starts to wear you down and you don't notice it in yourself until your mood starts to change a little bit. And then you, you start to realize uh, you know, I need a break. And and we're all hard workers, right? Like anyone at this level works real hard. And I push myself real, real hard to the point where I don't notice it sometimes because I'm, I'm by myself. I'm living by myself. And you just got to you got to look for those warning signs. And I saw it and I took a long weekend. I'm feeling good. Thanks for noticing. I appreciate it. Um, Just Stoney, his name is Anton. And I uh, wanted to change his name, but he couldn't. He's coming from Sydney. He's coaching at Sydney Uni. I swam at Sydney Uni uh, for I swam at Sydney Uni for four years. Um, he usually doesn't catch the live show, so he's up at he's up at uh, ten thirty at night tonight. I'm glad you could join us live. I look refreshed. Yeah, I feel refreshed, man. Thank you for noticing. I really appreciate that, actually, because I I do actually feel refreshed. I actually sent a text message to my boss today. I said, thank you for giving me the long weekend. I feel refreshed. So it's crazy that you're noticing that. Thank you. Maybe I'm in a bad mood sometimes, Sonny. You don't tell me that? I would never tell you. No, I, I should tell you that. That's what mates do, right? Um, oh, you should but, tell uh, me I'm looking tired and I need, yeah, I need you, a break. You did when I did. You you knew when I looked tired, to be fair. Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. A weeks back, uh, I was pretty burnt out. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Just a few other little meets. Erica Fairweather, New Zealand, 4 double O, another national record. She's a great mm -hmm. swimmer. Um, yeah, good stuff coming out of New Zealand. Um, I know that that was mentioned on the Ben show. Ben knows the, the coach of Erica. I forgot his name. No offense. Um, and then what else do we have? Hong Kong trials is going on, or Hong Kong Nationals, or Hong Kong something. Siobhan's there. She got her FINA Cup to qualify for Worlds first in the 100 Butterfly with a 58 1, which is like crazy. Siobhan's super versatile. She can go 58 100 Fly. Also 53 1 in the 100 Free, 24 in the 53. Uh, one of my best mates, Adam Chillingworth, qualified for the Hong Kong team. New Hong Kong national record in the 200 breast, 2.11.3. Um, it's the first time I've seen him pop off after a race, splash the water and stuff. Love to see it. So shout out to Adam as well. And then mm -hmm. 
an event you know about, Brett, and another one of Sergio's lads, Ian Ho. 21-8 in the 50 freestyle to qualify for his second Olympics. And he's another great surface swimmer. He has some serious speed over the surface. I'm saying 21-7, 21-8, 21-9, that's where you're at. Like, the, get, the best guys are there. And I'm not saying it's easy to get to there by any means. But that's kind of where you're peaking. You know, you're, you're, you're capping out. If you don't have an underwater... You can hit the 21.7 if you if everything clicks and you pop and you have a great swim. You're just not going faster, unfortunately. That's that's the cap, you know. So good for them. A lot of guys at 21.7, 21.8 right now. Renzo is one of those guys. Just popped the mm. 21.8, more of a surface swimmer. So it's like, yeah, there's if you want to put yourself in that mix, fantastic. Look, I never went 21. It was one of my dreams. Couldn't get there myself. Tons of guys going 21.7, 21.8 now. You want to make that next leap, put some work into your underwaters, drop half a second. Um, mm -hmm. Jordan Crooks is the other way around. He's got to mm -hmm. now work on the swim swim part of it to get that half a second drop that he wants. So, you know, it's one or the other. You either got you either got one or the other. <clears throat> and when you combine the two, you have what Dressel has, you know. So yeah. that's where you're at. Um, let's see this one. Hang on. Uh, put Brett in a Mizuno. <laughs> we'll see it 21-4. Actually, I actually put on um, one of those, you know, the, the the crazy suits back. I think I told you guys this. I think I, I just put one on at a training camp once with with Caesar when I was when I was coaching him, and actually went twenty three just as a coach. Like just just put the suit on and went twenty three, and I was like thinking to myself, like, oh, wow, imagine if I could train and do and put the suit on. There's no doubt in my mind I would have been twenty one. There's no no doubt. But but in this day and age with these suits. I don't know. I've never tried these suits. I, I mean, I've heard about these Mizunos and I've heard what they can do. I've never actually felt one myself, uh, but my time has passed. I am not Roland Schumann. It's not happening. Um, happy to talk about it, but not happy to do it. So I currently swim in South Africa. One thing my coach told me, use my hips more. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Sonny, if you're talking about drills, listen, guys, again, we're going to say this over and over again. Any question, get on any question. It's an app. It's free. There are over 20,000 answers from the world's top coaches and swimmers on this app. Over 20,000 answers, 20,000. So if you want to know anything about underwaters, breaststroke, drilling, training, mentality, anything, any question, download the app. It's free right there. Look, get on Sonny's link, get him. Get him some, uh, here we go, put that up. Get Sonny to, uh, yeah, some scriptions here. Like, it's free. Nothing. Get on there. Any question? Can't tell you enough. Why does my mic keep turning off? Um, Sonny, I think that's it, man. We don't need to drag this out. I think no, we're good. No, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for being in the comments today. Thanks for telling us we look good, sound good. It's been fun. A lot of comments today. I really enjoyed the comment oh, section sorry, today. Before we go, Brett, look at this. Your your name's on the wall uh, at the swim school office. Swim school office? Certificate for your swim at New South Wales record. Uh, that's funny. Um, just send me a photo. Let's put send me a photo. But I don't need the I don't need the certificate. I gotta be honest with you, Sonny. I don't know about you. But I threw away all my – any evidence of anything I ever did in swimming other than this thing right behind me, other than an Olympic medal hanging on the wall over there. I just uh, – I it was, it was weighing me down. Like I moved a couple of places and I, ha I was picking up these boxes and I was like, I don't, I don't need this to, to, to define me. You know, I was like, I just threw it away. And so I, I apologize if that offends anybody, but I just tossed everything out, uh, de-escalated de any junk that I had weighing me down. But um, I appreciate that. Thanks for telling me. That's it, Sonny. We're gone. Good. Cheers for tuning in, guys. And See Alfonso, we'll talk about Hungarian next week. <laughs> yeah, Hungarian. We'll, we'll keep an eye on Hungarian. Yeah.